is a wonderful let me just turn on the light and here we are hello how are you I'm Gabby de la Mora and I'm super super happy to be with you tonight as every Wednesday our program in English so yes today's theme is for us to be able to use our mind to optimize our health and more in these times in which we really are interested in having like a strong immune system and really to optimize every system in the body so how can we use the mind to to reach that point this is today's theme so I'm very very glad there I see my beautiful and beloved friend Cla we were just together talking about life and evolution and happiness and joy so uh, yes in this session in the first moment I'm gonna share just like three observations three things that is worthwhile to observe in our lives in order for us to really be able to not only be healthier but happier to really reach these um, high frequencies which are more resonant with life so in the first uh, part of this session I'm gonna share you three things three important things and then in the second part we're gonna do a meditation together if you are open to it I will guide you into a meditation and then that meditation is going to be amplified with the sound of the gongs so just in case you're not very familiar with the gongs the gongs are a ancestral instruments instruments that have been used in different cultures for different purposes healing purposes in celebratory and yes they have been around for around four thousand years and nowadays there is a lot of information on how good they are uh, they are almost considered like healing instruments because their sound wave is just unique it's a very rich sound wave that is going to stimulate each and every molecule of your being for them because as we know if we understand that we are energy and all these trillions of molecules that make my body and my thoughts and my emotions so all this energy is always vibrating in different frequencies so then for example when you're in high frequencies that means that you are super healthy and happy and so resonant with life when you are in low frequencies is when you feel sad depressed and when you are like sick or ill so then this sound what is going to create is just this incredible amplification of those frequencies and that's the reason why people really feel like something incredible is happening not just physically but emotionally so yes welcome and uh, let's begin so the three things that I wanted to share with you are based upon the idea that all of us we want to really experience a sense of aliveness in our life right to really feel like passionate and happy inspired alive so a lot of, of reaching that point in life has to do with awareness with consciousness and here well the question would be like well and how do I become more conscious or more aware here is a practical recommendation my recommendation for you today would be to observe three things the first thing would be to observe your own thought patterns because you know there are as we can see in life if you if you just think about friends and people that you know there are some emotional patterns that create happy people for example or optimistic people or people that are so generous and that are so creative and those are just the, always the same patterns for these people these kind of people yet there are other patterns or other emotional patterns that make people be like so angry all the time and so like feeling this self like pity and yes they feel like frustrated and they are so intolerant and they are so angry and they are so unhappy they really feel miserable why sometimes we imagine that well perhaps because his childhood was like so so horrible no but no it doesn't match because there are people who have really tough childhoods and they live like all kinds of adversities and scarcity and 
all kinds of abuse and they happen to be incredible human beings, the finest human beings which really make the difference. In the other side or in the other hand, there are people that really were raised with everything and all the economic resources and all the love and the best education and they happen to live very unhappy lives or bored lives or addiction and so it not, do, doesn't necessarily match biography with what happened with that person. So it all has to do with emotional fitness. So the same as you, when you, for example, if you're an athlete and you want to succeed and be the super champion and then you go and train and you have a program and you commit to that program to be fit, the same with emotions, you know. Here the remedy or the secret is for you to become the master like to master your own emotions. So here, for example, you don't have a coach, not necessarily, but then your own coach or the director of those uh, strategies is going to be your own mind for you to become the observer of yourself. So three things you need to observe. For one, is just to understand which ones or what is the tendency of your patterns, your thinking patterns, your thought patterns. And if you realize or you discover that those patterns have a tendency to be negative, so then focus on transforming, changing them, stopping them, understanding that this negative thinking is coming from the programming in, of the unconscious mind. Generally, when you are like in optimism and you want to do changes in your life and you feel like so inspired, it's because that is coming from your consciousness. That is you. But then there is this other part of our minds, which is the unconscious mind, where all the information, since I was a little kid, all the information is there. It's like old recordings. And that happens to be like an inner soundtrack, always playing the same song. It's repetitive. It has a tendency to be negative. And redundant so when you find yourself having these negative thinking patterns just stop them take a deep breath and don't engage in those in those kind of negative thoughts so that would be the first one so observe your patterns and stop them or transform them or just reframe reality because even when your mind is telling you telling you you know this is horrible this is so negative. What, what? So I don't see anything good here. No, yes, you can reframe reality and you can observe that there is always something neutral and positive that you can find, like in the same thing that you were viewing as so negative. So yes, always try to reframe that negative thinking or just transform it, okay? So that would be the first observation. Second observation would be what is life offering to you? Observe it. Why? Because sometimes or very often life wants to teach you something. Gandhi would say life is like a mirror. So if you give a smile, life is going to give you back exactly the same. So when you observe that synchronistic things are happening like in different environments in your life, that means that you need to learn something. Something is telling you. Life is wanting to teach you something. So observe what is going on and learn. And the third observation would be, what are you giving to life? What are you offering to life? So in that one, you would need to ask yourself, like, what is your mission? What is your inspiration? What is that unique note that you are? What is that song of your soul? What is that that you know is unique? and you can give to life. So try to observe these three things. First, your thoughts. Second, what is life wanting to teach you? Third, what are you giving back to life? Because you know, when you do these three observations and you realize that any negativity, you can change it. It's just a matter of really focusing on those teachings and what is what you would love to give to life. When you begin to do so, then you begin to raise your own frequencies because when I, for example, discover that my thing, I think that what I can give to life is something that I can communicate. That would be my example. 
So then I do it with so much love. And when I am doing that, I am feeling like so much in love is so wonderful that then my frequencies begins to ra begin to raise. It's like falling in love with another one. L like when you find that unique person and you fall in love and you feel so passionate and then uh, your eyes are like... Your, everything about yourself changes. Your whole universe changes when you are in love. The same happens when you discover what is that one thing that you can give to life. And you put all your love. And then your frequencies begin to raise. And then it is when you are like more healthy than ever. And happier than ever before. So... Yes, it has a lot to do with positive thinking, as you can see. It all begins with that. Because when I have positive thoughts, then those are going to create positive emotions, which translate in my body as chemicals, the most beautiful chemicals in my brain, which could be endorphins, dopamines, nitric oxide. And then all those chemicals are going to be in my bloodstream. So that means that all those chemicals are going to be surrounding my cell. That means that my cell is going to be able to renew itself beautifully, super healthy. So each cell th which creates, which create tissues, and then these tissues are the ones who are creating my organs, and these organs are the ones who are creating the systems in my body. So all of my body, all of a sudden, is so healthy. And it all began with my capacity to be the observer or of my own thoughts, of my own mind. So that is the invitation that I wanted to share with you today. Observe your mind, observe what life is wanting to tell you, teach you, and learn, and then observe what are you ready to give back to life and really fulfill your heart, fulfill your missions, transcend in life, connect with life, because at the end, life and yourself, yourself and life is the same thing, is the same energy. So yes, this, this is my invitation for you today. And how about doing this now guided meditation? So if you are open for that, just I would just recommend for you to grab some headphones. That way you are not going to be distracted. If you don't have headphones, it doesn't matter. Just let them know that you're going to do a meditation for them not to distract you. And if you want to invite somebody that is there in your house, you can do so. It would be so wonderful. And this meditation is going to be focused on feeling, first of all, how we are connected to life. So it is not that we are just like a separate units. So we are part of the same energy that we see in nature. We are part of life. So this meditation is for you to feel that connection. And then to begin to feel all that love that you are. And to begin to observe how you, just by feeling that love, you are raising your frequencies. So yes, I invite you to be healthier than ever. And it all begins with your mind. But then you're just going to let go. And then you're just going to feel. And that is something beautiful that happens with meditation. So let's do together our meditation, which is going to be amplified with the sound of the bowls, some singing bowls, some chimes. And... Let's do. The only thing that you need to do now is just to close your eyes and to be ready for a deep, deep relaxation. To know that when you relax, when you allow yourself to deeply relax, that is the optimal state of your body, for your own body to replenish. So let's do that. Close your eyes and that way you are not going to be distracted by visual impressions. So just allow for this experience to be completely acoustic, an acoustic experience. And enjoy. Listen to the sound. Close your eyes. And take a deep breath and begin to relax your body. In 
imagine that there is nothing outside. It's only this beautiful universe within yourself that you are about to explore with so much love. Imagine that you are in a space with no time, timeless space. And you are just going to be aware of the sensations in your body. So relax your feet and just be aware of how does that feel. your hips and your abdomen, your chest. When you take another deep breath, feel how you expand your chest and try to breathe in in five seconds or six and then exhale in six or seven seconds. Relax your shoulders and relax your arms and your hands, each and every finger. Relax your neck and your face. Relax your eyelids and your forehead. Knowing and feeling that all is well, all is well. You are not by yourself, you are not by your own. And you are so loved. Now just think in these numbers. Imagining that there are different levels of relaxation. Number five takes you to number four. You take a deep breath and when you exhale, you just relax your body. And then you go down to level three. And when you exhale, you just let go any thought that may be in your mind. You just let it go. Imagine as if your thoughts were just like clouds. They come and go. Come and go. Then you go down to level two. And you visualize this wave of relaxing energy entering to your body, relaxing it more and more. And then you go down to level one. And you are there. Visualize this very high frequency energy coming from far away in the universe, from a far away galaxy. It is a beautiful light which is traveling. part of the universe. 
cell is in perfect alignment with the universe, in perfect coordination with life. special love. Feel it. You begin to feel it more and more. And how now it is expanding even beyond your body. This love is part of yourself. And it is connecting all of life and you can feel the perfect harmony with life with nature you continue to feel that love within yourself and all around you feel that connection with life to expand that feeling and that connection as you listen to the sound of the gulls. Just reach and connect with all dimensions. Just feel it and expand the feeling. Flow with the sound.
just continue with your eyes closed and gently and slowly begin to come back. Bring your awareness to the present moment. Bring your awareness to a new life, to a healthy body, to a new being. Take a deep breath and just breathe life. And as you breathe, you just welcome yourself with so much love to a renewed life, to a new life. Remembering that every moment is your opportunity to renew yourself and to create your life. So just begin to move your fingers and your toes. If you feel like, just stretch your arms and stretch your legs as when you wake up in the morning with so much pleasure, with so much joy. Because you are you. You're a beautiful and unique human being. And your life is your gift, a precious gift which is for you to embrace and enjoy and bless and explore with love, with joy, with gratitude. So take another deep breath, just expand your chest, feel how you are breathing all of life. And whenever you feel ready, just open your eyes and I am going to turn on the light, just in case. Just in case you are there. And for me to ask you, how are you, if you were able to, to go deep into a relaxation state. Understanding that every moment, every time that we give ourselves or allow ourselves the opportunity to just relax, to simply relax, we are allowing our beautiful body, our precious and incredible, incredibly wise body and organism to replenish, to renew itself, to reach its own balance. So whenever we are not interfering with negative thinking, we are just flowing with life and allowing our organisms and each and every cell just to renew perfectly fine, beautifully, as, it, as you can see in nature. Exactly the same happens with our body unless we interfere negatively, negatively with our thinking. So today's session was just an invitation, an invitation for you to practice to be the observer of your own mind, of your thinking mind, and to know that you have the right and the responsibility as well to shift that negative thinking and to try to reframe things and to try to observe the neutral and the positive aspects in the same situation that you are just like judging or feeling that is not so good for you. Just try to observe what is life giving to you and presenting to you. And also ask yourself, what is that unique thing that you have, that you are and that you can give to life and just give it with so much passion and commitment, with so much love. So that is the invitation today. I would love if you have like friends or family that you would like to, for them to experience this deep relaxations or yes, just to practice different ways of meditation to let them know about this space, this virtual space Plus, there is a channel with different practices, with mindfulness tutorials, with beautiful visualizations in nature that you would love to explore, I'm sure, about that. And it also has uh, this kind of meditation with the gongs. So that channel, you can just access to it very easily. It's just gabidelamora.vhx.tv. So explore that option and practice, practice mindfulness, practice meditation, give yourself the opportunity to experience that every day and you'll see how 
your life begins to change and you begin to feel like so different. Yesterday I was talking with, with a person which is struggling because of situations and circumstances and just feeling like not loved. So then in our discussion, in our conversation, the conclusion was exactly this one. Love is something, it's an endless service that is part of ourselves. It's just a matter of feeling it within ourselves. It's just a matter of practicing through meditation, just to feel it more and more and more. The more you practice meditation, the more you can feel that inner love. That is the source, the endless source of love. And then that you can share with other people. But you are not waiting for people to give you that love and that attention, but you have it. You generate it. And then you share it. And beautiful relationships begin to, to happen. So, yes, I invite you to meditate, to allow yourself just to have these quiet moments or to do walks in nature to yes to and if nothing else just for you to imagine like every morning just to feel gratitude because you're alive because you have a place because you have a beautiful bed where you where you were able to rest or you can also think on that moment in which you were feeling so loved with that person or probably it was with a pet or probably it was while you were playing some music and you were feeling this connection. Think on those moments in which you have been feeling that connection, that loving connection, and just think about that and feel it more and more and more and more and nourish it. It's something that you cultivate and you allow it to grow. So thank you so much for joining in this space, in this practice. I'm Gabi de la Mora and I look forward to seeing you the next time. I will continue to give some sessions on Monday in Spanish for all those who are Spanish-speaking people that would be interested in having these different experiences, this is something different, and Wednesdays for English-speaking people, and both at 7 p.m. So yes, that's it. Thank you very much, and I will finish this session.